Hi, I'm Dave Graybill. Welcome to the Fishing Magician Outdoor Show. Today I've got something special planned for everyone. In the early spring, one of the most popular openers is what they call the April Fool's Opener. And it, when that happens, over two dozen different lakes open to fishing in the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge. These lakes open in the early spring. Many of them keep anglers busy throughout the whole season. You'll want to check your regulations because there's varying seasons on many of them and they are listed in the state pamphlet. But I'm going to start off today and gradually walk our way through this fabulous wildlife refuge that covers square miles below O'Sullivan Dam and Potholes Reservoir. Where we're going to start today is at Soda Lake and I pick Soda Lake because it's one of my old favorites. I've been fishing here for years and it's the one of the very first lake that fills from O'Sullivan Dam. There's a canal at the top end of the lake that fills it every spring and we can see water flowing into it now. And Soda Lake is a mixed species lake and in the early spring. The next stop on our tour of the lakes in the uh, Columbia Wildlife National Wildlife Refuge is what they call the walk-in lakes. This is the pillar widgeon chain of lakes that's reached via a trailhead that's just below the south end of Soda Lake. From this parking area you walk maybe a quarter of a mile and you discover Pillar Lake. That's the first in a chain of ten different lakes that are reached via a trail. This is one of the areas that I've recommended to people over the years is the place to start. Many of these other lakes you can just drive up to in your vehicle and park and walk down to the water's edge. This takes a little bit of effort, not a great deal, but it is off the beaten path enough that it doesn't get a lot of traffic. Each of the lakes in this chain does receive a plant of rainbow every year. They vary by the number of fry or carryovers that get into the lake, mostly fly, fry plants, uh, depending on the size of the lake. But all of them are refreshed every year with fresh rainbow trout, and the carryovers can be really quite nice fish. The yearlings are typically 12 to 13 inches. And the strategy that is recommended if you're going to explore these lakes is to pack along a float tube because they're typically very small, uh, easy to get down to the shoreline, and you could really work one of these lakes very thoroughly paddling around in a float tube. And again, these lakes would be very popular for fly fishers because of the nature of the size of the fish that come, come out of these. You may not catch a lot of fish, but the ones you catch should be of excellent quality. They're called a pillar widgeon because pillar is the first one that you encounter as you come down the trail from the parking area. And the last one in the chain is widgeon. But as I said, there's eight more lakes in between all reach via a trail and some of them practically right next door to each other. So I would recommend anyone that's interested in quality, quality rainbow trout fishing put high on your list a visit to the Pillar Widgeon chain of lakes. One of my favorite lakes in this entire Seep Lakes area is Katy Lake which is right behind me. It's a great example of the dozens of small little waters that are found scattered throughout this region. And they can have some great fishing. I've seen float tubes and pontoon boats working Katy Lake every time I've come down here in the early spring. Not all of them are planted though, but that doesn't mean that there aren't fish in them. Because we find perch, bluegill, 
other spiny rays naturally occurring in many of the lakes. So if you see a small pond like Katy Lake, that doesn't mean you should pass it by. No one is happy about having to repair a vehicle after an accident. However, I was very happy when I chose First Choice Collision Center when I needed this service. I can't say enough about how they treated me. Fast and friendly just doesn't say enough. They have amazing technology to make a damaged vehicle look like new. At First Choice Collision Center, you can expect modern service with old-fashioned values. That was my experience, and I'm sure it will be yours, too. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel, ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter. State and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. Hooked on toys! Hordes of anglers head for our area lakes as they open to fishing in the spring, but before they head for their favorite lake, they stop at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys is the biggest tackle store in eastern Washington, and they have everything an angler could need for a successful day on the water. You'll find the biggest selection at the best prices for all your angling needs. Located at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue or online at HookedOnToys.com. Our next stop on the tour of the many lakes found here in the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge, uh, or generally known as the Seep Lakes, is the Hampton Lakes. Directly behind me is Lower Hampton Lake, and reached via a trail, a really a short hike, is Upper Hampton. Both of these lakes have been popular for years and years. These two lakes are known for producing some of the largest rainbow found anywhere in this general region. And I'm talking about over 20 inches. Now these lakes will go through cycles as many of them do in this region. This, these particular lakes were rehabbed about six years ago. Uh, they had just been overpopulated with pumpkin seeds and perch and small bass. And so they were removed from the lake and then they were reseeded with rainbow trout. And the growth rate in these lakes is fantastic. Two years, three years after that rehab, the m monster fish were coming out of this lake and made them again extremely popular with anglers. Fishing just a little bit better in Upper Hampton as it took a little bit more effort to get there. Now we're in a cycle right now where the lakes again have a population of these unwanted species and it's probably due for another uh, rehab. However, those are just common cycles but year after year people that want to get big rainbow trout they're going to make a stop at the Hampton Lakes. The lower lake, by the way, <clears throat> is restricted to non-motorized boats. And the upper lake, again, is reached by trail, short enough that people will hike in with their float tubes and pontoon boats. One of the uh, reasons that I think that these lakes are also popular, it's just they're, they're very accessible. But exciting Here trout fishing. Go. Good job. Right, thank you for helping us. Yeah, line is crossed. 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 Yeah, line is we started at about 11.45. Okay, so you didn't start at the crack of dawn no. to fish down here. What a no. nice lazy day. Yeah. Almost noon they started yeah. fishing. Yes. It's 3.15 now and they are really getting close to having a beautiful lemon, a very fat rainbow yeah. here from Hampton rainbow. Lakes.
That's just wonderful. Yeah. Well, good for you. Oh, thank you. Well, like I say, I can see why the Hampton Lakes are always on the list oh. for people that want to catch nice trout in the spring here. Yes, yes, they at do the have Lake. nice ones. No one is happy about having to repair a vehicle after an accident. However, I was very happy when I chose First Choice Collision Center when I needed this service. I can't say enough about how they treated me. Fast and friendly just doesn't say enough. They have amazing technology to make a damaged vehicle look like new. At First Choice Collision Center, you can expect modern service with old-fashioned values. That was my experience, and I'm sure it will be yours, too. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel, ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter. State and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. Hooked on time! Hordes of anglers head for our area lakes as they open to fishing in the spring, but before they head for their favorite lake, they stop at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys is the biggest tackle store in eastern Washington, and they have everything an angler could need for a successful day on the water. You'll find the biggest selection at the best prices for all your angling needs. Located at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue or online at HookedOnToys.com. Hooked on Toys! Here we are now at Canal Lake. And this is one of the lakes that is, again, very popular with anglers because it's got an excellent boat launch. It's a big lake. We're seeing some big boats out here. And there's lots of good area for camping. And something that's very special about Canal Lake is, as you can see behind me, I'm standing on a handicap pier. This is one of two that are located on an inlet on Canal Lake that makes it very accessible for those who need a wheelchair or cannot get down a trail to, as most of these lakes are reached via a trail around the shoreline. I mentioned earlier that most of them you can drive right up to the edge and that is true in many cases but this is a very convenient way for people that just can't get around very well to be able to get access to some pretty good water. Canal Lake is noted for very good trout fishing. It's usually loaded with rainbow. There's also a few perch taken, as we've seen today. In the early spring, this is a great destination for people. Also right next door to Canal Lake is another popular smaller lake called Heart Lake. And it is exclusively a trout lake and ha offers a couple of areas around the shoreline for camping as well. This is a very good family destination for early season trout fishing. As I mentioned earlier, it's got all the amenities you need for a great weekend of family fun fishing at the Sea Lakes. One of the last stops we're gonna make on our tour of the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge today is at Hutchinson Lake. Hutchinson Lake I have heard about for years and I wasn't going to leave this area until I found it and got a good look at it. It's reached via a different road. It's kind of at the bottom and western end of this refuge and you really do want to access it through a different highway access than the main Seep Lakes area. It's handy to have a good map or just stop in at Mardon Resort and ask directions the way we did and you'll find it. And it's well worth the trip from what I have heard. Most of the lakes that we've talked about today are spring trout lakes. Hutchinson, however, is a prime spiny river lake. There has been bass to over seven pounds taken from the lake, fat bluegill, perch, and crappie all exist in this lake. And it is a blast to fish 
from what everybody tells me. I was surprised uh, this lake, by the way, no electric, excuse me, no gas motors are allowed, only electric motors. And it's actually much larger than I anticipated. It's also a very popular destination for anglers in the spring because it can be very sheltered from the wind because it is lined by the salt cliffs. There's a nice dock here to launch from and to fish from and quite a bit of water as I said on the Hutchison Lake. Now just to the east end too is Shiner Lake that can be accessed through a small patch in the a channel through the reeds. Um, it, by the way, can have some of the best crappie fishing in this whole region. And that's one of the reasons that people make Shiner Lake a destination. Now beyond that, there's another series of lakes that are accessed through trail. Bobcat and Coyote. Now these are smaller little ponds and would be ideally suited to explore with a float tube or a pontoon boat that could be carried into them. And again, these are primarily spinery lakes, but they're a popular attraction to this region because they are so populated with those spiny rays and the dimensions of the fish is what makes a difference. This is an ideal place to bring uh, youngsters, heck, bring youngsters. Before we started taping, we were visiting with some local anglers, and they were just down here looking at the water, trying to decide when they were going to make their first trip. They love to come and fish Hutchison Lake, primarily for the bluegill. The bluegill, again, get to be very nice size down here. And what they enjoy doing, which I thought was interesting, is simply trolling for bluegill on this lake with spins and spoons and spinners and different kinds of rigs. So, another great destination in this region, this time for spiny rays, it's Hutchinson Lake. Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built for Tough Truck Event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built for tough, like the Ford F-150, with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in East Wenatchee. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Grable, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there. Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. It's a dream come true. For E-Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyle's Boats and Motors in Kashmir, 663-5191. Well, my daughter Whitney and I decided to finish up our tour from this Vista Point. This is uh, the Drumheller Canals Vista Point that is just off of Road 12 that takes you down to Hutchinson Lake, Bobcat, and Coyote Creek, too. And, well, what, what did you 
this is the first time that you've ever been down to this particular area, isn't it? It is, and it's been fantastic. Just such a neat area to drive around and explore. Just a beautiful scenic area to be in. Lots of people having fun. And the fishing opportunities just seem to never end down here. Yeah, I just gotta choose which lake you wanna be at. <laughs> And there's everything from small little ponds that you could probably cast across all the way up to some of the big lakes like Canal and Hutchinson that you can get out in a boat. And uh, this, you can see why attracts families from all over the state of Washington. There's just great facilities, you know, there's good camping available at all of them. There's actually, and not that far, uh, Mardon Resort, which is also a destination here for the Sea Lakes, on Potholes Reservoir. And then we're really not that far from Moses Lake, which has everything in the world you'd ever need. It's just 16 miles from Moses Lake down to the entrance to the Sea Lakes area. And then Othello, from Soda Lake to Othello, is just 10 miles too. So you're not that far away from civilization, but you really feel like you're in the wilderness here in the high desert. Yes, being on the reserve has just been amazing. Beautiful birds everywhere. Yes, yes. So you can see it really starts here in the early spring with the April Fool's opener every year. But as the weather warms, the fishing improves, and many of these lakes continue to just produce trout and as well as the spiny ray species throughout the season. So, and in fact, several of these lakes, we've talked to people, are fished through the winter through the ice for perch and walleye. And people, people enjoy these year round and it's a great place to visit anytime you are looking for quality fishing here in eastern Washington.